All right, uh, good morning, everyone. Coach <coughs> Lees is here. Thanks for joining us today. Um, uh, we had last week off. Obviously, we were on the road uh, at UNLV and then Arizona State. All right, Coach Lees, a uh, young club. Uh, um, got to see a little bit of everything. Uh, UNLV, the wind blowing out, and then uh, a top 10 Arizona State team that uh, you guys had a chance to win the, the Saturday and Sunday games. Mm -hmm. What can you take from your young team at that, that Arizona State series? Well, there were uh, a lot of new things for, for all of them. Uh, the crowds were great. Um, that was awesome. Uh, we got, you know, Alex Marsh is uh, one of the premier pitchers in the whole country. And so they got to see him uh, firsthand. I uh, thought he was improved from last year. And then uh, we had uh, two games on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I, I felt like we did a lot of very good things on all parts of the game. Um, a lot of pitches that were made, a lot of great defensive plays. And uh, we put together some hits. Um, we just couldn't make that extra pitch um, with two strikes. We got a, gave up a lot of base hits with two strikes. Uh, there was, a, you know, we actually did it. We've improved hitting wise. We're getting them where we want. Uh, we need to hit them in. And then uh, the base running blunders. Uh, I think we had five for the weekend. Of uh, three of them were bases loaded line drive where, where we squared up baseballs, did a nice job hitting them, but we got doubled off. So I think we lost some uh, possible runs in those uh, in those areas, but um, Arizona State's a, a very good team. Uh, they're, they're old. Um, they can really hit. I felt like uh, after Marsh, uh, who's going to get a lot of games on Friday nights this year, I, I felt like the team was very beatable um, in regards to their second and third starters and the people that came out of the pen. But we just needed, you know, one more pitch to be made, or one more play to be made, or one more hit to be made. And um, you know, it's it's not okay to lose. But we did we did take some things from the series that that we can certainly build on. Um, you talk about a couple of veterans, uh, Dylan Plu and Rob Teal, kind of got going this last weekend. Now let's look at Colin Montez, who's getting his first year of playing, you know, every day. And then uh, uh, Cody Colden and Kyle Manzardo. What did you see from those guys? I mean, the first weekend of Pac-12 play. Well, uh, Robbie's coming off a hamstring inj uh, injury that uh, he's been hurt since last Friday. So we set him out basically the whole week with no biting practice, and Andy Gepper got him ready to, you know, to be satisfactory for Friday night. So, you know, looking at what he did for the series and, and what he did for this team, um, he put all soreness aside, and he really caught well. Um, he had uh, his best weekend at the plate. And then, uh, you know, Colin Montez is – has been really stellar all year. Um, he's been in and out. If you look at his freshman year and at the end and then didn't get to do much this fall, uh, he's really come on and give us a, a presence in the middle of that batting order. Uh, Danny Sinatra, uh, you know, in the last, you know, six, seven games has played tremendously, uh, both in the outfield and at the plate. Um, would have liked to have had him on Sunday, uh, but he uh, came down with the flu, um, you know, just could not go. And so, I wish we would have had him, but he's done a very good job. You know, Plu had, uh, you know, his coming out and showing what he could do as far as a leadoff hitter, um, hitting to all parts of the field. He uh, hit some, you know, a lot of doubles, a couple real close ones that were just hanging at the very top of the fence, but uh, didn't land. Um, so those are the guys that when you look at our older kids between, you know, Montez and Sinatra and Plu and Robbie, um, that's what – that's – what we'd hope they'd be doing is being in the situation they are right now. And then when you add our young kids, I think we've got a nice balance that's coming forward. Uh, Manzardo continues to have solid ABs. Cody Colden is playing as good a defense as I've seen um, really any freshman I've ever coached. And he's starting to understand what type of skill set he has at the plate uh, and doing some very good things there. Um, you know, so it's getting better. We're, we're we're a long ways away, but we're making steps. I, I was very impressed with the competitive level that our kids had this weekend. I thought it's, it showed resilience. Uh, I never get up, give up, uh, some courage, some grit. And uh, so that's the direction we're going. I feel good about it. Can I talk a little about this weekend? You go and face another ranked team, uh, mm -hmm. number 22, UC Irvine, uh, one of the favorites in the Big West this year. You know, what do you want to see from your club down at, uh, in Southern California at UC Irvine? Well, I we're going to face a better pitching staff this weekend than we faced last weekend as a whole. Um, they've got uh, some guys in the front end that uh, I see uh, uh, 
Then Holmes got a batting average against of 115. Um, and Brubaker's got a batting average of 209. So, you know, teams that they've played, and they've played very good teams, are, are hitting under 200. So it's going to be a very good challenge for us to see if we can take that same uh, hitting approach um, this next weekend and create a little better offense to score runs. And um, looking, you know, we've uh, now going on maybe five weekends, four for sure, where we've had the same starters, um, both Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that's what I'm excited about is that, uh, you know, we're hoping that we can get one more inning out of each of those guys so that maybe we can use uh, Mills and, and Davis Bailey and, and Moyle and Guerrero a little bit different so we maybe don't have to cram them in so early. And I think we're working towards that. And it'll, it will help when, you know, if we can score a couple runs to extend that a little bit. And, uh, you know, they throw, they should be getting to close to 100 pitches uh, now. Um, but, um, you know, I'm anxious for that and, and see what we can do uh, for a three game series when we play LMU on Monday. So, yeah. uh, Brandon's, Brandon White is starting on Friday? Yeah. Okay. Um, how would you characterize his performance through five games? Well, when you're. I think he's been uh, very good, you know. Uh, Brandon's the type of personality that uh, doesn't really get too high or too low. He uh, he throws a lot of strikes. So when you go out on Friday night, you know you, at the very least you're going to get a strike thrower. Um, you feel pretty good about that. And uh, him and Coach Spencer have worked really hard to develop his second and third pitches, and he has showed signs every week to execute those pitches uh, at a very high level. We're just, you know, if you look at his outing this last weekend, he's about three pitches away from having better than an okay game. And so if we can nail those down, you know, the changeup that gets left up or the spot that gets missed on the other side of the plate, uh, then he's he has a chance to be as good as we've ever had. At what point did you know that he was going to be start in your starting rotation? Uh, two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean that's or when we recruited him. Uh, he's he's shown signs uh, from the time we recruited him to, uh, you know, his velo started kicking up. Um, Coach Spencer and him worked to, you know, he had a curveball and a slider. They kind of meshed in and out, so they created one breaking ball pitch, and then uh, he really didn't have to have a a changeup in high school because when you're 90 to 93 miles an hour, you don't develop that. And so that's the thing I think I'm, more, I'm most proud about for him is he's worked so hard to develop that third pitch. And when you're a starter, it doesn't matter if you're Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or, you know, you, you must compete with three pitches. And uh, so he shows every weekend that he's getting better at that.